Step is about an all-girls high school step team in Baltimore. And they're all the first in their families to go to college. And we follow them through their senior year as they strive to achieve that goal of going to college and become a championship step team. How'd you go about finding the right girls to do this series with, or the docu? Well, I am a Broadway producer in my other life, and I make shorts about first-generation students going to college and girls' education, and I am born and raised in Baltimore. And I started filming these girls when they were 11 years old, making shorts to promote their school and fundraise around their school. But I didn't really start filming the step team until they were in about the ninth grade. How many people on the crew when you guys do a competition in step? 19. 19. Yeah. All girl? Yes. yes. All girl. So we're the first dudes in your crew. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> turn up, turn up. Do you, guys, hey. do you guys go up against guy groups too, or is it just uh, We all have. Teams? We definitely have in the past. Mm -hmm. Who's the better? Um, I wouldn't say it's better, um, but I would definitely say that we all bring different things to the table. No, it's all good to say women are better. <laughs> we probably I mean, you, you know. <laughs> Do y'all have nicknames too? And is there like an initiation too? Um, there's no initiation. Um, we're nothing like a sorority. We're really based on like getting to college and keeping a uh, grade point average and also giving back to the community. But um, we come up with nicknames, but it's nothing about like affiliation or anything. No. It's just fun. basically yeah. being a part of creativity. So. Sometimes we call her Corbot, but I'm just blessing. Corbot. Corbot. Blessing. What's Corbot? <laughs> Amanda calls me Midnight. She says that's my <laughs> stage name. Midnight? Hey, yeah. No. Coachy, what is it, what's it like seeing these girls go from little 11-year-old girls to women in college now for you? I'm really serious about where they're going, and every girl that comes across my path must have a success plan. So it's not necessarily everybody will have the option of college, but I want to make sure they're more focused on what is success for you, because it's personal, you know, and we have to stop feeding our young people that this is the only way and this is the only path. We need to support their creativity. We need to support um, whatever their thoughts and their aspirations are. So that's what we do. But people tell me the only thing, the only thing stopping you from success is yourself. Is yourself, absolutely. You think people are trying to stop you, but it's you that's mm -mm, stopping yourself. It's you. And you're the one that opens that up for them. I'm the one who makes them understand and know like there's no other way you're the only one that can get you where you need to go we will support you but you have to take those steps so what do we need to do support step yes. are you gonna uh, do wide release or are you just gonna do uh well august 4th we open in six major cities uh -huh. and then august 11th we open in about 30 more cities and then august 18th we open in about another 20 cities and it'll be on 200 screens across oh, wow. the country which is amazing and such a miracle i think for this film and the best thing you can do is take a group of young people to see it well you girls good luck in college wish us luck Thanks. luck because we're about you. to step right now yeah. let's yeah, step sure. because step <laughs> is life y'all step, is life. step is life if you want to find them on like twitter and instagram hashtag step is life is where you could search for them mm -hmm.